Hello, beautiful Virgo. Your person of interest, your love interest with whom you've had a relationship or a love connection, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions, as well as what possible blocks to the relationship exist at this time. So let's get the overall energy. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Virgo, and it is a reading for the collective, so it cannot and will not resonate with everyone. So if it doesn't resonate, please check the playlist at the end of the video and or look at your Moon, Rising, or Venus energies. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Okay. Beautiful. For a fire, you're starting with an engagement marriage card that is buying a home together. It's a foundation. It's a marriage card, literally. In fact, I'll read what it says. It says, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment is in your personal life. Gorgeous energy, four of fire, four of wands. So for many of you, we see that in the Rider Waite deck also as a bride and groom dancing. We also see at this time that the, the insights that come to you from meditation, your need to rest, you know, what we're looking at here is the fact that you really need time to yourself. This is mental exhaustion. It is the Four of Swords energy. It's just time to take a break and relax. Virgo, both you and your person are recovering from a very busy year, I feel. 2021 was exhausting for both of you. You're both in healing mode. You're both taking time for yourself. Okay. Beautiful. The Six of Cups. This is revisiting an old uh, childhood flame or somebody from the past. If this is a new relationship, you felt like you feel this person is maybe from a previous life, but the meaning of this card truly is a reconciliation with somebody that you've known in the past or for a long period of time. It's a very sweet card. It's a little boy typically giving a little girl flowers. There's, it's very nostalgic. Both of you are missing one another. You're feeling nostalgia. After a period of not spending time together for a while or taking time for yourself, somebody wants to renew the relationship, but it is overall energy. So your person definitely wants to renew their relationship with you. We do have this beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> The it's very cute. This is the uh, Ace of Pentacles. This is all about a journey, a journey of knowledge, uh, really starting out, really wanting to get to know each other very well wanting to take this journey very grounded offer it's the ace of pentacles it is the chance a, an offer a substantial offer inviting you in into a substantial offer in the relationship the eight of coins really all about getting to know you working on the relationship and we have the queen of swords the queen of air so what we have here is the overall energy that both of you are very serious about this relationship uh, for many of you you know you might have been married to this person you made commitments to this person it does look like there was a period of separation either before or after the commitment started um, you are moving into this energy though in a very grounded way you're being very practical. The offer that's being made to you with this, this energy of the Six of Cups is very substantial. And Virgo, what I'm seeing for you is you will use, you will make a head over heart decision. That is the Libra Queen. So you will make a head over heart decision in terms of what you want with this connection. How they think about you. Seven of Cups, they're confused as to where you're at right now. This person does not know what to think. They don't know if you're dating other people. Again, for some of you, this is a marriage, you know, so you may have difficulties getting to know each other. But this is an energy, not necessarily an event. The Ten of Wands, your person is feeling a lot of heaviness. 
they feel as though you might not really want them back with the Queen of Swords. They think that they thought they were moving ahead with you after a period of not talking for a while or not talking very much. They felt that it was imminent, it was on the horizon, that you were saying yes to an offer they made. And now what we're looking at is the fact that they're they're recognizing that what they took as an offer to work on a relationship with you may not have been they may have misunderstood you as what they're thinking they feel as though they're carrying a heavy burden because they don't understand what's happening in the connection the eight of cups this person may if you don't make a move towards them it does look as though they're going to leave it alone the two of air the two of swords says that they feel as though they they're at a crossroads but they they don't know what to do they don't know what decision to make they feel as though you are holding yourself back from them the world card they're very concerned that your relationship is is finished that the saturn cycle is closing your relationship out or that that's what you think of it so this person is not optimistic at all. Their thoughts about what's happening right now is that their happiness is gone. You were their happiness. They feel as though they've never been happier than they were with you. And now they feel as though they're losing their sunshine, basically. All right, let's see how they feel in their heart space for you. Ooh, passionate desire. They want to throw caution to the wind. They want to rush in. This person is itching to get their hands on you and make love to you. They feel as though in their heart space that that could be, you know, that that could be what what attracts you, that, that maybe in the past they didn't give you as much as they should have, but their, their feeling is, is that you don't want to let go of this. They feel very much. They don't want to let go of you. They are being very greedy and very selfish. You know, this is sort of the miser card. They're, they're holding on to you whether no matter what they think that you want. They don't know how to let it go. They're not really releasing this desire for you. They don't know how to release it. Let's see what else we have in their heart space for you. They will hold you in their heart for a very long time. Ooh, the knight of pentacles oh look at this he is looking his horse is looking on while he looks and draws up a battle plan this person is making a plan they are planning their work to make their way back to you to make a passionate approach to you but they're going to be very grounded they know they have to offer you something in their heart space they are not going to give up they are not so Virgo, this is actually your energy. So you may have a person in your life with either a Virgo rising, Virgo sun, moon, or, or Venus. Um, so very, very interesting energy. Renewal, ooh, Virgo, your person loves you. They want this relationship. This person very much wants a relationship. They do not want to let you go. You have an angel protecting the connection between the two of you. All right, so let's see. The King of Cups, your person loves you unconditionally. They love you. They have not, they may have not have told you that they love you, Virgo. They may not have told you, but this person is very, very deep in their feelings about you. That is unconditional love. Oh, look at this. The chariot card. Now we're getting into actions, even though I haven't even gotten to the actions part of the reading. This person is coming in hot. They want you. They feel in a way that you are their home. You are their happiness. You are their joy. You are their beloved. They are going to work. They're going to make a plan. They're going to create a plan and then they're going to work their plan with you. So right now their intentions are to fight for you. This is, it's an illusion of being trapped, but this person is accepting responsibility for what they did in the relationship. So their intention is to be very passionate, very fiery. They're going to fight for the relationship. 
they truly are going to fight. They are not going to just give up on you. They just don't see that as an option. They don't want to lose you in terms of being happy. We're going to clarify what needs to be clarified in the reading, of course. Let's see, what else do we have? The Magician card, they are manifesting you. They have every intention of getting you back and they have the tools to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Virgo, if you're trying to maintain control of your emotions or the situation, this person has, they know you pretty well. They've known you for a long time. They think that they know exactly what needs to be done. And here we have the star card. Look at this. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. So it's interesting because I don't think that the two of you did marry but the energy between the two of you is that at one time you really did think that the two of you would be very, very good as a couple. And the star card says that your person intends to make their wishes and dreams for happiness with you come true. You have a lot of major arcana here. You have someone who is very sort of hell bent on getting you back. And Virgo, this could be you. Energies can also be vice versa but I see this as your person. That's where the focus is. So let's see what else we have here. The Four of Cups, they don't know if you're gonna take their offer. They're going to make an offer. They're saying prayers literally for an angel to be protective of your relationship. We also have the Ace of Swords. Your person's going to come in and be very blunt with you, very honest with you, very forthcoming with you. The truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And this is the ultimate card of reconciliation. That is Sagittarius energy. It is, um, it's temperance, it's balance. It's a beautiful card. This person wants to transform the relationship and that is what they are going to do. That is their intention. Their actions and their intentions are very much wrapped up in their emotions right now too. So let's see in their heart space, if we just take their heart space and look at that, what do we have for this person in their heart space for you, Virgo, in their heart space? They, they are really, this is in a very intense energy. They are very driven to win you back. All right, so let's see. What do they feel in their heart space? What is in their heart space? The moon card fear they have a lot of fear they just don't know if you're going to allow them back in with the queen of swords energy they have a fire in their belly messenger of fire is all about you know wanting to race in you're going to get a message from them they're going to fight their fear they're going to come forward they're going to reach out to you they see you as brilliant and beautiful you hold all they have all of these flames of desire for you again they're going to throw caution to the winds in their heart space look at this they feel as though they have never been luckier in their life they've never met anybody better than you they feel very like fortune and fate and spirit gave them the gift of you like you're you're like a lottery winning to them like how did i get so lucky how, they feel a great deal of gratitude in their heart five of water they feel as though they owe you an apology too they feel as though they hurt you that somehow both of you hurt one another. They're letting go, and here we have it again. Judgment card, judgment card. They want a renewal in this relationship, and they are acting on that impulse. All right, let's see why the King of Cups is here. That is a card of love. Look at this, page of fire. They have fire in their belly. The chariot card is Cancerian energy. Honey, I'm home. I want to come home to you. I want to marry you. I want to build a life with you. Okay, so let's see what else we have here in their heart space. The tower card, they do not plan on living without you. The tower card is you may be quite shocked at the lengths that they are willing to go to. The nine of air, they are going to make an apology. They are going to share with you what remorse and regret they have about actions taken or not taken in the relationship, Virgo. 
and we have the hanged man. So we do have a pause before they come in. They do have trepidation. They do have confusion. Let's see. They do have, they have that, but they are going to fight for you. What's the tower card? What is the significance of the tower card here? Two of coins. They don't know quite how to approach you, but the star and the magician card are manifestation cards. It is Aquarius energy. So I would say that Aquarius may play into the timing. So it could be late January, it, but it could be any time. It really could. So let's look and see what the messages of love oracle cards have to say about this Four of Swords energy. It looks as though both of you were hurt in the relationship. You hurt each other and you both pulled back. Oh, look at this. It's about forgiving yourself and forgiving your partner, Virgo. It really is. It's that energy is about forgiveness, about pulling back, healing, mending. Why do we have the Six of Cups here? Intuition. Intuitively, your person knows that you would like for them to make an offer. They feel as though you're very much in it to win it with them, that you are a partnership. Let's see what we have. Past life love. There we go. So you are soulmates. You have known each other before, and that is the meaning of the Six of Cups card. That is a past life love, typically. All right, so why is the Queen of Swords here? Both of you are being very logical. That's Libra energy, uh, Twin Flame. Oh my goodness, both of you do have a knowledge or an understanding that there is a Twin Flame relationship between you. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Oh my goodness, this person feels as though you're playing hard to get or you're playing hard. They feel as though you're, you're joking around, you're laughing, you're having fun, and you're enjoying someone else though, because they don't see you enjoying them. And that is really weighing heavily on their mind. This, you know, this uh, 10 of wands, yes, 10 of wands. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. There we go, marriage, ooh. Not surprising. Hopes and dreams for love coming true with the star card. Moving forward rapidly. This person is going to fight for the relationship, but they are going to wait until the timing is right. A warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. Interesting. That eight of cups. So there is so one of you walked away. You know, one of you walked away. So what else could we, what would else do we need to know about this warning? Why did this person walk away? What did this, why did this person walk away? Their thoughts are that either you left them or they left you. Well, give the relationship a second chance. So, you know, the romance angels are saying that it's, you know, you should do that. All right, so let's see what else we have for the oracles. Okay, why is the Five of Cups here? Why does this person feel that they owe you an apology? Self-care. They really feel as though sometimes they brought their problems to bear on you and that you needed to clear your energy field and focus on yourself, that, that they brought some drama into your life you didn't need to really that wasn't yours a new love or recommitment to an old love is developing that is sagittarius energy that is the card of reconciliation where do we have it here renewal there it is yep there we go renewal reconciliation coming back together again okay it's also here we see balance here. That's also reconciliation. So really gorgeous energy for you, Virgo. I mean, this relationship, if you're willing to say yes to this relationship, um, we are really seeing that your person wants it. They're strategically planning for it. They feel it's only a matter of time before they can come forward and talk to you about this. They will make you a, they will make a substantial offer. They just don't know if you will accept it. So what is your advice from the Moonology deck? What is the advice for, uh, for Virgo? Let's see. 
Your dreams need a practical plan. Ooh, strategic planning right there, Virgo. That is you, actually. You know, this is a Virgo card. The Virgo card is the Knight of Pentacles, and you want to have a strategic plan. Your plans need a practical plan. Uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Yay! And work through your fears. All right, Virgo. Work through your fears is the advice of spirit. Let's see if there's any odd blockages or anything that you might not know or you might not see coming uh, in this connection. Let's see if there's anything that you need to look at or whatever the roadblocks could be or pro possibly were in the past. Let's see here. What were the roadblocks to this relationship in the past? that caused the two of you to step back from one another, to take a break. What were the roadblocks? Okay. Reinvention, okay, an offer, an amuse. Oh, look, this is beautiful energy, okay. So what we're seeing here is fifth dimension. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so here we have twin flame energy. Divine masculine is coming into ascendancy. Your divine masculine, for those of you in a twin flame relationship, is having a recognition of what they need to do. Here we have, we have ascension and we have divine masculine. So fifth dimension, you know, we're in the 3D right now, but you are in the 5D relating in the 5D and your divine masculine is picking up on that, those messages. There has been a pause, you know, this pause uh, certainly was a roadblock to your relationship. It would have been better if your person had made an offer to you earlier. We also see reinvention when we see the chariot card, the temperance card, and reconciliation. This person wants to reinvent the relationship. And look at how beautiful this energy is. Eight of Pentacles says that the two of you are one another's creative equal. It shows that when the two of you are together, you are tremendous creators. You may do projects together. You may do artistic. You may have artistic interests in which both of you could be writers. Both both of you could be craftspeople. Both of you could be uh, into remodeling or home decor. Uh, but it really speaks to the fact that when you're together, you have an amazing ability and desire to create, create something that is very tangible and very valuable. Virgo, that is your reading. It was such a joy speaking to you today. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.